Hey YouTube, this is Kevin Bowen of Bowen Small Engine and I'm just continuing off of my recent video of a twin cylinder running on a uh, stationary and I wanted to show just a few things that I found since I've just taken the starter off and basically I wanted to show you the starter I rebuilt it put a new pinion as you can see this of course was the old pinion what they had done is they had flipped this pinion upside down because they got the best out of one side as you can see and they tried to use the other side that is not something I would recommend it's very hard on the starters luckily enough this guy you know he hadn't had a chance to run this one very much I do know why I'm going about to show you that this is something that you're going to see on a lot of Briggs engines especially anymore with the gasoline being the way that it is um, this can be anything from the inlet needle inside the carburetor you know sticking um, being faulty they'll even go you know get to the point after a while where they'll be faulty it can even be that the float has got a hole in it uh, some of these carburetors had the uh, copper or brass floats so I'm gonna go ahead and undo this and show you that this thing was plumb full of gasoline this is something you want to watch for Just watch this. This is pretty awesome. I see this quite a bit. Now the reason that I know it's full of gasoline is you can smell it. Okay, just put it up. Hold it to your nose and believe me, you will smell the gas. This happens quite a bit on these engines. I was actually expecting it to be just slightly worse than what it is. What actually happens a lot of times is it'll come out and you'll hear it just, it sounds almost like water. Uh, it looks like the rain's trying to pick up now and come in, so I may have to, uh, here we go. See that's coming out of there now, guys? Look at this. See this? That's gasoline. Not water, gasoline. Look at my fingers. Unfortunately, I don't have smell-o-vision. So you guys can't actually see this. But if you look, you can actually see that that's coming out of there pretty fast now. And as I say, that's just gasoline. There's no hoses connected to the carburetor, as you can see. This is what was in it before I ever done anything to it. Right now, I'm just draining it. I'm going to flush the engine, put fresh new oil in it, see if we can't get this thing to run. This is just something I wanted you guys to be aware of. Keep that in mind, guys. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and put the starter back on, see if we have spark. I've got spark testers. I'll show you how to use those. And that'll probably be in the next video, though. 